Hi everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use Snappa. Snappa is an easy and fast way for you to create your custom thumbnails for YouTube if you wish to do it in a really quick and easy short period of time using existing templates. So what you would need to first do of course is go on to Snappa and sign up for an account. Now I'm going to go over here to pricing so that you can see what their pricing structure is like. They do have a starter or a free account for just one user. You have access to their over 5,000 templates. You are limited, however, in reference to the number of um, HD photos and graphics that you'll have available for you. You would only be able to use this if you have no more than five downloads that you want to do on any given month. And then um, not really that familiar with what they what the 10 favorites mean. But if you do want to pay for the pro version, um, build annually, it will be $10 per month. So you're paying that in advance. So it's $120. Um, again, for one user, 5,000 plus templates, but you have way more photos and graphics. You have unlimited downloads each month. You have unlimited favorites. And I'm presuming that's the templates that you can favor. Um, you'll be able to share directly onto social media because this is a tool that you can use for custom thumbnails as well as for status update posts, posts on all of your social media um, platforms. Then they also allow you to integrate with Buffer as well as you can upload custom fonts. So if you want to use this more than for YouTube thumbnails, then the pro version is probably best for you. If you're a beginner and you're just using this for YouTube and you're going to stick to your four videos per month, then I think the free account would suffice. So once you've purchased, I'm going to go straight to my dashboard because I already um, am logged in. I have an account already. It will take you to creating a graphic. So you can create a graphic based on preset either social media posts, blogging, headers, uh, social media display ads, and those things. So we're going to go straight here to uh, custom thumbnail, but also note that you can put in your own custom um, width and height in pixels, and then you can create your whatever it is that you're doing from there. So we're just going to click on YouTube thumbnails because this is specifically for showing you how to do that. And then the page that you're going to come to is going to show you all of the templates that they have. And they have a lot, like they mentioned, they have over 5,000 templates in general. I don't know how many specifically that they have for YouTube custom thumbnails, but that it's going to be a lot. So you can just kind of scroll through and have in your mind an idea of what you would like that thumbnail to look like. So I'm just going to pick a random one. I'm going to pick this one, assuming that, let's say, for example, we're doing episodic videos on YouTube. So we can say that this is, you know, video number one or episode number one or episode number two and so forth. So we can go on like that. So as you can see here in the canvas, it has the thumbnail as is from the template. So it really does a very um, great way of walking you through each and every step. So the first thing that you will want to do, obviously, is you can change your background. And when you have to change your background, you can do a couple of different things. You can use their library of images. And obviously, instead of scrolling, you can type in whatever type of image it is that you're looking for. So maybe you might want um, office and you can do a search for that and it shows you all of these different ones. So let's say we wanted to use this one of the handshaking. You just click it and it automatically goes not only onto the template, but it automatically fits in the area that is aligned or assigned to that image. Now you can also use patterns if you want to use that. Um, as well as you can use your own images. So if you've uploaded images, as you can see, I've uploaded images here. I could change this out instead and use something like that if I wanted to. And then obviously you can also use a solid color. This might be something that you would want to use with your branding color. So you can certainly um, do that as well. 
So I'll just um, leave that as is. If you want to remove the image, you can just remove the image using this Remove tab. And if you wanted to reposition, let's put the image back. If you wanted to reposition, then you could um, click on that. And then it opens up a scale or a little um, bar here that allows you to zoom in or zoom out, depending on what you need to do. Once you're finished, you can apply or cancel if you didn't do anything. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to effects. Now effects allows you to do something like putting an overlay on your image or blurring it or darkening it or just adjusting the color through saturation, hue, brightness, and contrast. So let's say in this example, we just wanted to do an overlay. So there is a color that's selected here. Again, this is an opportunity for you to use your brand colors. So I'm gonna use one of my brand colors, um, 64. So I'm gonna use one of my brand colors. And then as I adjust, you can see that the color is coming like obviously if I go to 100%, that's where you would see what that color is. So I might wanna leave it, say for example, there at 20%. If I wanted to blur for whatever reason, I could do a slight blur. If I wanted to make the focus more on the text and less on the people in the background, if I wanted to darken, um, which I don't think I wanna darken, and then if I wanted to adjust any of these other areas down here, I could easily adjust them. Then next would be your text. So since the text is already in here, I could just double click on this and then change whatever I wanted to put here. So I could say how to, communicate with your oops audience using videos let's just say that's the title that I wanted if I want to adjust this any I can always stretch the text box so that I can get that onto two lines and then I can come up here and then move, oops, and then move. And as you can see, it has that line to make sure that I'm centered. So now I know that I'm centered. Let's say this is um, episode number one. And I don't wanna use this graphic, but I might wanna use something else. So what I can do is I can come here to graphics and I can go under icons and I can either search for, let's say video. So let's say I wanted to do that. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna go back here to my icon and let's just say, um, let's just use that one. So we can put this one here and we can make it smaller so that it can fit into that white circle if that's something that we wanted to do. Um, I actually, that doesn't go with my style, so I wouldn't use that, but I just wanted to show you how you can import um, a graphic. So that's how you can do a graphic. And then this is a shape. So if you ever wanted to import shapes, you would just come here and you can import any one of these shapes that you can um, easily add and then change the colors here and here um, if you wanted to put a border as well as the fill. So I don't want any of those. So I'm actually just gonna move this down a little bit and I'm going to, on this shape, I'm going to change it to one of my colors. You can save your um, branding colors in here if you want. So I'm gonna change it to one of my uh, branding colors. And that's it, I'm done. Now, because I wanna do this as an episode, what I can do is just simply duplicate this after I, of course, title it. I forgot to title it. Episode, oops. Episode thumbnails. And then I can duplicate it. And I don't need to see the duplicated one. So I'll just know that it's duplicated. Then I can come over here and click on save. And now that it's saved, you can then download 
the video and you can download it however you want here. Web Optimized, JPEG, High res PNG. I prefer High res uh, PNG. And so that's what I would choose. And then you just tell it where you want to download to on your computer and you're done. All right, take care.